Kia rana tangi ki a kau tātou i te itatanga ta kuki aira ni kua tae kau i te ia taimen no te rātou nuti te kapaina ia mai i te CITC e te wato. The World Youth Netball Championships is still on the agenda for the multi-sports facility, even amidst new information that the complex may not meet the required international specifications. The standards are quite high. The netball will normally require a minimum of seatings of about 3,000. A spacing between courts and between spectators, that sort of thing. And they're very, very strict on that. Last week, Cook Islands Investment Corporation revealed that on a recent visit to Netball New Zealand in Auckland, the list of specifications supplied to them by the organising committee did not coincide with those standards at an international level. Today, David Lobb confirms that a meeting with CIIC regarding these concerns was positive. In recent months, the two roles have been very confusing. They're responsible for providing the uh, facilities for both the World Youth Netball and for the Pacific Mini Games next year, and I don't think there's any there's never been any real doubt about they are responsible for doing that and they are overseeing that. Um, I, I guess the, the confusion might have been in the role that the board uh, needs to play in my role. Um, I see my role as the coordination of the stakeholders' input into that building so that uh, the building that is provided by government does meet the specifications that uh, all of the stakeholders that are involved uh, it does cover those requirements. And a requirement according to the International Federation of Netball Associations, the facility should house at least two courts plus warm-up areas. The courts are to be 30.5 metres in length, 15.25 metres in width and have a runoff area of 3.05 metres on each of its sides. The floor should be a wooden sprung floor and seating capacity should cater for at least 3,000 spectators minimum. Well we've been working the last uh, four weeks on, on these specifications within the courts. And part of that as well is to uh, look at the, uh, the seatings, how we can maximise the seatings with, uh, and uh, minimising the, the, uh, the costs of these changes. And we've been working quite hard on this one. Um, and I think we have achieved with the uh, prior information that, we, that was given to us. Uh, with, we can have a seating capacity just over 2,000. A second venue is yet to be confirmed, but all fingers are pointing to the auditorium. The floor in its current condition does not comply with netball standards. Such issues are still being talked through with CIIC and contracted local architect Alex Nupper. The revised plans that they showed us on, on, on Tuesday afternoon were, uh, in, in plan view anyway, uh, seemingly meeting the requirements that we need. Uh, but we do need to have some further feedback in terms of exactly what that floor is, um, how the seating arrangements work out, uh, what we do in terms of a second venue, by the look of it we, we will need a second venue for the netball. And the second court again will have to meet international standards and criteria and must also be in compliance with the, uh, the flooring specification under the European standard. The newly formalised CEO says the specifications are nothing to be intimidated by. John uh, had found out from a different number of different places what the standards were. We were able to confirm some of those things weren't um, exactly as required and we, we are going to confirm that in writing to him. Uh, for instance, the, the, the wooden floor, uh, we need a, a sprung wooden floor but uh, the standards that he was talking about was something that was uh, access to the standards that are required for the, the competition that we are holding. Even at this late stage, the Chinese loan of $13 million is still yet to be signed off. Diplomatic ties at this point in time are reportedly shaky. This is Carly Himmelpour for tonight's CITC and Wattle Local News.